in front of me i have the one plus three and the latest google pixel xl so this is the latest flagship here and the hottest phone in the right now so this will be speed test and the comparison with the both phones and in case you're watching this video definitely you might be thinking which phone you should buy so this video might guide you so this is purely a speed test not a camera and other test here so that i will be covering in a separate feature which phone you should buy okay, so let's see and which phones does works faster Alright guys, both phones are turned off. So I'm just going to turn them on together. So powering on both the phones in 3, 2, 1. So one plus three booted faster, not a problem. So let me video do uh, some higher gigabytes of RAM. So here are the uh, set of apps guys that we are going to test out and just to make the things uh, you know more uniform and there shouldn't be any animation delay i have taken the same launcher in both places so this is no launcher prime i will just modify it to look like the nexus launcher in case you want to create your launcher such a way i'll put the link and just go and watch that up so we'll first start with some social apps and both are connected to the same wi-fi network and just to give you guys information as you can see here uh, this is uh, all in one toolbox which shows actually how much time which phone does takes to boot so uh, one plus three takes one minute one second then and the pixel xl takes 59 seconds just two seconds difference all right so we'll start our test here so here's the one first we launch twitter so launching twitter in three two one so both launch almost same not problem we'll move to the next tab this is instagram so instagram in three two one almost same time not an issue all right move to the youtube so launching youtube in three two one so we press together but this does take some time so anyway uh, we'll do this thing together again for the youtube especially just to verify make sure again so launching youtube in three two one so i don't know why for some reason one plus three is doing so anyway that's not a problem so we'll move to the next app this is play store some set of apps here so launching play store in three two one so this one does loads a bit second faster but final data comes together in both ways all right so this is ac genuine file manager launching in three two one almost same time not a difference we we'll launch the camera so i have perception that uh, one plus three will launch the camera faster because this is one of the fastest camera you have seen so launching camera in three two one so almost same time but uh, pixel xl has a milliseconds of advantage so we launch google chrome here so launching google chrome in three two one so almost same time just a bit faster on the pixel we'll load some website here let's see so we are going to launch uh, youtube.com on both the places so uh, three two one both are connected to the same wi-fi network so rendering time is faster in one plus three all right now we'll move to the next app these are set of games here so we'll launch uh, subway surfer then temple and do as followed it followed by modern combat 5. so we'll launch subway surfer launching subway surfer in three two one So OnePlus it did launch the game a millisecond faster. So we'll move to the next game. This is Temple Land 2. So launching Temple Land 2 in 3, 2, 1. Pixel XL wins slightly millisecond ahead. We did see some of the lags here, but Pixel XL was very smooth. So here's one. Now we'll launch the asphalt date. So this is two-step launching. First, we'll launch the game and let's see which one loads the UI first because we need to follow a couple of steps to play the game. So this will be two steps launching asphalt eight in three, two, one. So one plus three shows the screen first. Okay guys, we are on the start race space. I don't know each time you start asphalt it, 
it's in a lot of you know bullshit information claiming and all the stuff anyway we're just going to start the race again so starting race in three two one so one plus three is much faster and launching asphalt eight here you can see it's still uh, four to five seconds ahead so anyway we'll move to the next game here which is uh, modern combat 5 so launching modern combat 5 in 3 2 1 So as you can see guys, uh, we did see that when the game was very heavy then the OnePlus 3 is performing slightly bit better. You can see just a 1 or 2 second difference. Otherwise for the normal uh, games and apps there is not an issue. So if you are really very heavy gamer, so definitely you should be looking for a phone which has had gigabytes of RAM. So definitely 4 gigabytes to the 6 gigabytes is 25-30% uh, differences. Anyway, so we'll try to resume some games now. So we'll go ahead and start with the first app that we have open let's see which uh, phone does keeps the app in the memory so resuming twitter in three two one so both are in the memory so let's see youtube resuming in three two one so both are reloading the data so that's bad thing chrome resuming in three two one so it keeps the data in the memory chrome is in there let's uh, resume some of the games uh, let's see Subway Surfer was the status. So resuming Subway Surfer in 3, 2, 1. So both are in the memory. That's a good thing. Now we'll resume the Temple in 2. So resuming Temple in 2 in 3, 2, 1. So Pixel XL keeps the game in the memory and you can see well plus reload so sometimes it happens memory management is not great in other manufacturer because uh, they just modify their code that is Android. Now we'll resume Asphalt 8. Let's see heavy games are in the memory or not. So I did think that Pixel XL won't keep uh, Asphalt 8 because you know it has lower RAM. Anyway, let's try it. So resuming Asphalt 8 in 3, 2, 1. So both in the memory. Excellent. That should be expected. Now we have last game left. Uh, Modern Combat 5 to resume. So this is Modern Combat 5. Resuming modern combat 5 in 3, 2, 1. So both are in the memory. Super. Now we'll compare the Geek and the Entity Benchmark test result for both. Starting with the Geek Benchmark test result. Running it together, uh, it is found that OnePlus 3 is running a bit higher or faster rate compared to the Pixel XL. As you can see, uh, there's a couple of percentage difference always. And OnePlus 3 shows a good result. It's not the highest, but uh, it's good compared to the what other Android phones we have right now. And comparing the same score with the Pixel XL, so Pixel XL is slightly behind, maybe due to less uh, two gigabytes of RAM compared to the OnePlus 3. Now I will run the end to benchmark test result. So here again, condition is same. OnePlus 3 is showing the results as a faster compared to the one, and the score is quite good. Uh, again, it's not the fastest, but uh, comparing with the same with the Pixel XL, somehow I could not believe the results, so I ran the test again. And the next time I ran the result, I found that the uh, score is slightly improved. So each time when you run, you'll get different scores. So there is one more test left. Uh, we'll go and uh, shut down the device and see which device power faster. Turning off both phones together in 3, 2, 1. So it turns off uh, very very fast as you can see. So guys we have seen the speed test and what we figured out that for the day to day usage both phones loads the app and resume the apps very smoother. OnePlus 3 uh, doesn't have a good memory management like sometimes you can see the apps were not in the memory that Pixel XL retains them in the memory. Otherwise if you are launching very heavy games like X Fault and all then OnePlus 3 has edge because it has a like higher gigabytes of RAM that is 2 gigabytes more otherwise Pixel XL is fine but there is a huge price difference you will get OnePlus 3 is just half the price of the Pixel XL you should be considering in the mind now 
if you are to go with the pixel xl definitely on the reasons are if you want the greatest camera and if you don't want to go with the galaxy phones and the iphones then definitely the google pixel xl has one of the best in a sharp camera right now so you can watch a detailed camera and video comparison otherwise if you want just purest stockers and drive with the latest updates so only two reasons two benefits are there for the pixel xl otherwise there's no need for go with that because even though this is single sim and when plus it gives you dual sims and all the feature and both are amlet phones with the you can see the build quality of the one plus three is a very slim compared to the one pixel xl but these are the couple of points here guys that you should be taking care of that because the only the biggest difference is the price which is very very higher pixel xl is on the highest tag right now even though it doesn't have the ip68 67 water resistance and all so that's it guys i hope you guys found this video helpful so in case you are still concerned with queries do let me know i am keeping both my phones as a personal as a daily driver so maybe i can guide you in the future videos so if you guys find this video helpful do subscribe and follow me on the twitter as the gi support this is sarab i'll catch you next video thanks for watching